Hi, I'm Gary from organicweb.com.au and I'm a MailChimp Pro Partner. In this short tutorial, I'll show you how we can create and send effective email marketing in MailChimp. Enjoy! Creating and sending effective emails or email marketing in MailChimp is unbelievably simple. Once we log into MailChimp, just click All Campaigns, under Campaigns, All Campaigns, because Campaigns is basically the email we create to send out. I'm going to create a new email, but first let's just look at one or two emails that major organizations send. So this is Chanel. Let's just see what they're doing here, and I'm not going to cover everything, but basically, and this is kind of the formula you see in, it's a very, or the most popular probably formula for email marketing, because it works. A nice, a lot of white space, for example, logo, image, heading, text, button. Okay, a little bit more, but logo, image, heading, text, button. That is entirely, uh, you know, that is usually what you see. So this is just a single email. This is very popular, a single, sorry, not a single email, a single content. Single content is very popular because it focuses on the product you're trying to sell. Also, a lot of people don't scroll. So just having one um, item just seems to be more effective in many cases. Always logo at the top, then maybe an image, um, nice big heading so that people can understand what this email is about by just very quickly looking at it. Um, and a few more words. Some people like to read a little bit more, but honestly, you don't need more than a few sentences. And a button. We always take person somewhere else to our website, maybe a PDF to download, something like that. Let's just look at Pepsi, another major company. Um, they use actually a very similar formula here. So we've got logo, image, heading, text, button. It's the same, but they've got more than one story. So they go image, heading, text, button, image, heading, text, button, and it just carries on and on. So if you have what's called a newsletter, more than one story, you just repeat. You always have your logo at the top and then image, heading, text, button, image, heading, text, button. And notice how nice and big their text is. Uh, you know, I wouldn't go smaller than 16 point. Um, some organizations are 20, maybe even 22, sometimes even 24 point uh, text in your main body. So really big. Less is more in email marketing. Lots of white space. So let's create a very similar sort of layout to this. In MailChimp, this is unbelievably simple. We click create new. And we'll wait for uh, the builder to, 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 sorry, to come up. So we can call this anything we want to. Let's call this um, um, ice cream 2024. Oh, that didn't help. Sorry about that. Ice cream 2024. I create email. And we just follow the prompts as we go through. Starting at the top, right, so who are we sending to? We click add recipients. We choose an audience. So in this case, I'm going to choose my Gary's great ice cream. And we can send to at this stage, we can create a new segment. Um, we can paste in the emails as long as they're already in our audience. We can send to an existing audience. We can send to a tag if we want to, but I'm going to send to everyone for now and we can specify who we don't want to send to. Then MailChimp recommends uh, clicking the personalize the send to field and just select here F name. Click save. Then who it's from. This defaults to Gary the ice cream dude, but if you want to, you can click edit from. And as long as the email address is on your domain, whatever your you know, business or organization's domain name is, that's absolutely fine. You can change it. The subject line, hugely important. This encourages people or, or this um, will help get people to either open your email or not open your email. What you typically want to do is you want to um, add a few words that entice the person to open it, but that reflect the story in your email, what, what it's about. But don't use something like newsletter 2024. It, it, that really is not enticing. You would do what the content, what you're doing that year, or something that's exciting, something that people want to see. So let's go, have you tried our new ice cream? Okay, that's not the best, but it's got a question, uh, which is nice. You know, questions often work well, and you, you, you know, um, sorry. And if you want to add an emoji, you can always click the little emoji button and add that. 
preview text is just um, a few lines. Some email readers, I think Outlook, show the first few lines of the email. You can override that by, show, by adding a preview text here. I, I recommend doing it. I won't do it right now. Click Save. When do you want to send this? Do you want to schedule to send in the future or do you want to send right now? I'll send right now. But let me tell you about selecting the best time to send is what you want to do is you want to send at the time the person's ready to make a decision about your email. So for example, um, if you sending something um, related to the person's family or something that they you know, an entertainment event over the weekend, it's not a good idea to send it at the time the person's at work because they're not going to be in the right frame of mind to make the purchasing. I'll click save. Right, getting onto content, let's design our email. I'll click design email, we'll wait for this to load up. The various starting points, uh, MailChimp templates, and you can choose any of these. I'll start from scratch just to show you, but you, you can honestly play with any of them. What most people also do is they create their first email with their branding, their colors, etc., and then they just copy a past email by clicking um, recent sent emails and just copying. That's the easiest way. But let's create our first. So I'll click apply and we'll start creating this email. MailChimp gives me um, sort of a default layout. And you'll notice it's quite similar to that Chanel and Pepsi one. Logo, heading, text, image, button. And I can adapt this as I go. Now, if this weren't my logo, I could just click on here. So at any of these blocks, you can click and you can make changes either on the left-hand side or in, in here. So for example, if I wanted to change this text, I could quite simply click there, highlight it. I could even write with AI, but I'll go um, our new coffee ice cream is awesome. Okay, you won't do that, but you get the idea. And then you might want to put a few lines of text. Um, try the new award-winning cream that we make in house. And just maybe one more line. Um, you, you'll love it. Okay. Just before we carry on making more amendments to this, we can, to the left-hand side of the screen, click Styles, and we can change, for example, you can do it for desktop and mobile, you could change the background color if you really wanted to. We could click on here and change background color, sorry. Even add a background image. You can change the text type from Helvetica, which is the default, to Comic Sans or Korean New. And there are many of the Google uh, Safe web fonts here as well that you could use. You can change the size, and if you're using Heading 1, you can change it for that etc 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 and and so you can go down to buttons and so on let's go back to add let's now change this so this is just an image block um if this were not here so let me actually delete it and just to show you i can delete blocks at any time by clicking remove block and any of these blocks here i can just drag and drop wherever i want it so let's drag and drop an image block there and mailchimp immediately says to me on the left hand side uh, let's add an image. So I'll click add and I can either upload an image or browse images that I already have in MailChimp. Uh, if you want to upload an image from your computer, click that. Otherwise, browse images, which I'll click. And I think I've got, there's an ice cream image that I uploaded earlier. Again, I could have just dragged and dropped images. Click insert. Okay. Now, um, I highly recommend you add a link where people go to if they should click on this image. Uh, this might just be your website, uh, it could be an email address and so on. But for now, I'll just put a website. Okay. The other thing is alt text, highly recommended. Please do this. Alt text is just what, what words will show should that image not display. Also, people using screen readers for accessibility, um, web content accessibility guidelines, uh, WCAG, and so on, uh, you really do need to have this. Now, MailChimp will often suggest some alt text. If it's not correct, in this case, it did pretty well. If it's not correct, you could rewrite it. So it's alt text, uh, 
um, Mailchimp has automatically come come up with a glass cup filled with vanilla ice cream and crap. I'll accept that for now. So we've done our image. That was so easy. Uh, what if we want to add a video? The trick here is that you first need to upload your video onto YouTube, and there's also a lot of free content you can reuse in your email marketing in on YouTube or something like Vimeo. It needs to be hosted somewhere, not in Mailchimp. Start watching your video and then quite simply just copy the URL and back to Mailchimp and here's the video block. So let's just drag and drop that video wherever we want it to show. I'm just going to drop that video block and on the left hand side Mailchimp says what's the source. Just drop in the URL. We'll just wait a second and you'll notice that the the um, the thumbnail nail, sorry thumbnail image comes across from YouTube. So just when you send this email to someone, to me for example, I'll see that. When I click on it, it takes me to YouTube to view the uh, video. Click done. The one thing I haven't done is added text to the button or added the URL behind it. So if I click on the content block, I can add a link here. So where do I want people to go when they click add button text? In this case, because it's our new ice cream, I'll probably take them to a page advertising the new ice cream. But um, let's just add um, the example, example website for now. Nice and easy. And let's just uh, change the text here to something else such as, um, uh, I don't know, learn more. For example, something like that. Um, oh, sorry. And just while I'm there, I'm just going to click on it again. And you'll notice that you can come down the bottom if you really want to, and you can change the background color, for example. So let's just change that uh, to make it a bit more highlighted. Click done. Uh, you can change the shape of it, and you can play with these different things. Do you want a border? No, I don't. So I'm to zero. What size? Let's just uh, bigger. Okay, it's not looking great, but you you uh, get the idea anyway. These things at the bottom, social buttons, if you click on that, you can add links to your Facebook page, to your X page, to your website, etc. That's purely up to you, but I'll just delete it for now. Um, these other blocks, uh, you might not see product, product recommendation. Um, you'll only see these if you have your e-commerce store, such as Shopify, WooCommerce connected. And the others are pretty self-explanatory. Text, you can just add the paragraph. On the layouts, just to show you, you can create columns for your email. So let's say we wanted two columns, 50-50 split, split, sorry. <laughs> we'll take this across here. And again, we can just drag and drop, let's say heading into the first one, and I'll just add some text. Um, and let's say we could add, just add image into that second one there, drag and drop, go. I would browse images, add an image. But for now, let me just delete so that's how you add columns in. Sorry, let me block, delete once again, just to make it a bit more pretty. This stuff at the bottom will also autofill for you. We have to have an unsubscribe link in MailChimp. That's mandatory. Um, you can delete most of the stuff or change it into hard text if you want to. That's purely up to you. Most people just. You can delete the logo by clicking on it and clicking delete button if you really want to. One thing I've noticed is I didn't include the first person's first name. So such as um, hi first name. What I'll do is I'll change this word hour. Actually, no, let me just add before the word hour. Let's add the person's first name. So all I do is I click wherever I want what's called the merge tag, the first name to appear. Click merge tags up the top and you'll notice the drop down and I just insert the field. In this case, I want to insert the person's first name. What I'll do is I'll add a comma, space, and I'll just change the O to smaller case. So now when it sends to me to Gary at organicweb.com.au, it'll say Gary, our new coffee, ice cream, and so on. Okay, so let's just say that's our entire email we want to send. First thing we do is preview. See what it looks like on a desktop device. What it looks like on a mobile device. If we enable the live merge tag info, what we'll be able to see is here you can see it's inserted the name for Gary at Organic Web. 
this case. So we can see that, the, that it's working. Okay, I'm happy to send this email. So let's click save and exit to the top right of the screen. Going back to our builder, working from the top, everything's looking good, okay. Um, do I want to automatically post uh, to Facebook or X or Instagram? That's up to you. And typically there's nothing we need to do under settings and trackings. All we have to do now is send. I do recommend, however, you first send yourself a test email to make sure it looks okay. Once that's okay, you click send. And once we've clicked send now, unless it's scheduled for the future, once we click send now, it sends very quickly. Mailchimp sends very, very quickly in the, in the next few seconds. And you can't stop it from sending on the standard and essential plans. If you are worried about clicking send and um, having to make changes afterwards, I recommend you schedule your email to go out, even in an hour or two's time. Because if it's scheduled, you can still make changes before it goes out. But in this case, Hey, sorry, I'm just clicking send now and it's gone. In the next uh, few minutes, your recipients will start seeing, uh, seeing your email marketing. But that really is campaigns, nice and simple.